I was thinking about this because the clay clip came out on podcast P's Joy Paul of George mm-hmm. for a podcast and what has sounded that it's I'm sure probably the most on. candid I've ever seen Clay. Yeah, was, he was very relaxed. Yeah, very chill. Very chill. He's maturing. But the word bitch triggers a lot of people. We say Clay Thompson gets bitch. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Chris Paul, bench. Jeremiah Green, bench. You know, who's going to start the games? It triggers a lot of people. It's like QB1. Yeah. It, well, not, not, no, I'm teasing, no, I'm no, not like QB1. Nobody tricked. Tr- like, bench talk gets people triggered. And like I just want to know why. Yeah, pl- not, not even worse. Even like platoon, I'm like, whatever. That's just what the Giants the, have the, to do. The bench to me. So, okay, I'm glad you bring this up. Because when you say bench, that means you're not playing. Yeah, it's a negative connotation. Kaminga got benched right. in the playoffs. Would right. you agree? Look, Draymond got benched. No. It's a negative connotation. He, he, well, Kaminga didn't, didn't, didn't even play. Game. Yeah, he didn't start the game. No, Kaminga didn't play. That's yeah, benched. That's, that, well, that's benched. But no, if you don't start. You say, oh, he's got to come off the bench. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is in this scenario, yeah. like my uh, uh, the way I view benched is uh, like, you know, Anthony Lamb was benched at the end of the year, as in he didn't come off of it. Well, see, I would say he just didn't play. Okay. But if a guy comes off the bench, like, yeah, he's coming off the bench tonight. He's going to be playing off the bench. He's not starting. He's coming off the bench. And so that whole thing, uh-huh. it has a negative connotation to it, whatever it is. And all I'm thinking about when I saw Chris Paul and Steve Curry, I go, boy, who's going to finish the game? That's what, you know, forget the who comes off the bench. Is it number 11, Clay Thompson? Is Kevon Looney? Who, who's coming off the bench? I, I think we don't need to focus on that anymore. I think we make, we make too much out of that. Make too much of well, a big deal out of who's coming off the bench. But I've been thinking a lot about that closing line. I don't want to get too deep into right. the weeds on it. But, like, I've been thinking a lot about the closing lineups. And... If you're going to go Steph, CP3, Clay Thompson, Dre, and Wiggins, that's just most people yeah. would say that that's right. like what you're going to roll with at the end of the games. You are giving up a lot on that defensive end, oh, on the perimeter. A lot. All right? And so I, I, I do. I think there's going to be a lot of give and take. Can you offset it? Can your pacing and maybe switching it up? Like, for example, Miami, they did a great job in the playoffs. They ran three to four times the amount of zone yep. defense as other yep. teams. But when you have Jimmy Butler – and you have Bam Adebayo, it allows you to hide other people in a zone because you have such great individual and help team defenders. I don't know if I would put Dre and Wiggins on the same... Like, they're very close, right? but I don't know if But the rib protection... Exactly. The rib protection where you get get a little more rib protection with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. You don't get that with Wiggins and Draymond. And you're out there on the perimeter with Chris Paul, who a lot of... A lot of NBA teams targeted the last couple of years defensively. They they will pinpoint Chris Paul, and we know they'll try to target Stephen Curry. Exactly. So Clay Thompson not being the defender that he once was, you're giving up a lot. And it was what does it say to Kavon Looney? Well, that's a great point. I we mean, just say, oh, Looney's going to be fine with it. How do we know how Looney feels now? Well, and I think the other thing is uh, not just like Looney, you know, his emotions. What what about like? I don't know, the actual rebounding. The guy's yeah. rebounding numbers were outstanding in the playoffs. Yeah, no doubt. So, not, not just this year. I'm talking about yeah. go back to last yeah, yeah, year, no, the year prior. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's been legit on the glass. Because there are some physical guys in the league where I'm like, Dre's a great boxer outer. But there's just some size things that he gives up. Yeah, it's just it's just really strange to see Kerr and Paul talk. And the Warriors embrace Chris Paul. <laughs> bench. Bench, 925. Bench. Bench, 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 bench. Why do you guys go crazy over the bench?